He is known for being a Flemish Franciscan missionary and explorer. He is recognized for his travels to various parts of the Middle East and Central Asia in the 13th century, including the Mongol Empire. His name is William of Rubruck. In the annals of history, there are figures whose indomitable spirit and thirst for discovery have forever changed the course of human knowledge and understanding. One such luminary was William of Rubruck, a Flemish Franciscan missionary and explorer. Born in Flanders, Rubruck embarked on a remarkable journey through the Middle East and Central Asia in the 13th century, leaving an enduring legacy that rivals the great explorers of his time. Setting out on his expedition, Rubruck ventured into the vast and enigmatic Mongol Empire, a realm shrouded in mystery and intrigue. His travels took him to various parts of the empire, where he sought to explore and understand the customs, cultures, and beliefs of its people. With an insatiable curiosity and a deep sense of purpose, Rubruck meticulously documented his experiences, creating a literary masterpiece that would later become renowned as one of the greatest travel accounts of the medieval era. Rubruck's account of his travel stands alongside the works of Marco Polo and Ibn Battuta, as a testament to the extraordinary adventures and discoveries made during this era. His vivid descriptions and keen observations provided invaluable insights into the Mongol Empire and its way of life, shedding light on a world that was largely unknown to the Western civilizations of the time. Rubruck's exploration of the Middle East and Central Asia has had a profound impact on the world. His writings not only expanded the geographical knowledge of the era but also fostered greater cultural understanding between East and West. His encounters with the Mongols and other indigenous peoples opened up new avenues of trade, diplomacy, and exploration, shaping the course of history in the process. As we reflect upon the achievements of William of Rubruck, we are reminded of the indomitable spirit of exploration and the thirst for knowledge that has propelled humanity forward throughout the centuries. His remarkable journey stands as a testament to the power of curiosity and the enduring legacy of those who dare to venture into the unknown. William of Rubruck, a native of Rubruck, Flanders, embarked on a remarkable missionary journey. Accompanying King Louis IX of France on the Seventh Crusade, William was entrusted with the task of converting the Tatars to Christianity. Following the orders of the king, he set out on his expedition, first stopping in Constantinople to meet with Baldwin of Hainaut, who had recently returned from a trip to Karakorum, the capital of the Mongol Empire. In Constantinople, William received letters from the emperor to some of the Tatar chiefs, further cementing his mission. He then followed the path previously taken by Hungarian friar Julian and Italian friar Giovanni de Pien del Carpine. Alongside William were Bartolomeo de Cremona, an attendant named Gosset, and an interpreter referred to as Homo Dei, meaning, Man of God. This was William's voyage to the Mongols, making him the fourth European missionary to undertake such a journey. His predecessors, including Giovanni de Pien del Carpine and Asselin of Lombardia, had paved the way for him. The presence of Nestorian Christians at the Mongolian court had sparked interest within the European kingdoms, leading to King Louis X's decision to send another mission. With faith in their hearts and a desire to spread the teachings of Christianity, William and his companions embarked on a perilous and arduous journey into the unknown. Little did they know that their experiences would shape history and leave an indelible mark on the world. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.